Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the next episode in the uh, in the uh, Volvo P1800 tutorial series. Um, where we left it last episode is that I'd shown you all how to import the blueprints. So from now we'll start. So press three, side view. Okay, so we've got a side view. Um, I'd also imported this um, box, which we will now take out of here and put in collections. And um, we'll call this collection uh, body. And we'll rename the cube. I'm going to call it main body mesh. Okay. So with that done, we will drag the um, we'll we'll shut the uh, minimize the blueprints. We'll drag them up to the top out of the way. Um, okay. So press the tab key and get into edit mode. So we're in edit mode. We've got um, we've already got lines here, which um, highlight where the where the wheels are. Um, we'll put in two horizontal loop cuts. So one at the centre of the wheels, and one roughly on the belt line. Okay. So now we'll start. Um, start shaping so at first I'm going to grab this range select B range select and just pull this down remember if you can't find your gizmo it's there and click highlight move okay so we'll grab this one and we'll bring that down we'll, and we'll bring that down So about there and across to so about there. This one we'll grab again and bring that across. This one we'll take up to the edge of the bumper and this one. So B, range select, click this, bring it up. So we'll, we're, we're shaping at the moment. So um, all of these will move around again. Okay, B, range select, pull this down. <clears throat> now I can already see that we need one here. So loop cut here at the bottom of the windscreen. Um, we need another one at the top of the windscreen. So around about there. We need another one here for that uh, for the back of the door. We need one for the top of the windscreen here. Um, we can't exactly see where the windscreen is here, ends, but we'll go to about there. Um, we'll probably need one at the back of the wheel arch here. So pull that in. We'll need... Uh, we can always put them in later. We'll need one here for the wheel arch here, and we'll need another one here for the wheel arch. Okay, so moving round, we'll get this one, drag this one up. Okay, and I think we'll grab this one here 
B and move this one up. And then we'll grab all of these. So B range select, grab all of these and bring this up to just under the body. So there, okay. Um, right, continuing on down here. So B range select, get this, drop it down. B range select here, drop it down. Um, B, you get the picture. Um, we'll probably need another one here to get the top of the the roof line. So I'm going to put another one in here. So put it there. So B range select. Bring that up. Grab this one. Don't have to be too precise at this time. Just roughing out the shape. Grab both of these. Bring these down. And then this one, B range select. And bring this down and in. Bring these in. And I'm trying to see where this best best to place this one. And B range select. Bring this up. I brought both of them up. Control Z. Just bring that one up first. I'm going to put them, drag them across here, and so trying to get the body. So that is the that must be the exhaust. So we'll get the body. So B, bring this up across bring that across okay so we've got a basic shape got a basic shape now um, press Z to get into solid mode let's see where we are okay go to um, front view, press 1 on the numpad, press Z to get into wireframe mode, um, we'll put a loop cut right down the middle, because what we're going to do is um, we're going to mirror it, so we select these B, range select, X and delete the vertices. Press tab to go back into um, object mode. Z, Z to get into solid mode. Okay, so click one again. Now, um, to make we need to make sure that the you see the yellow dot there. That's the um, that's the origin. Now we need the origin down at the world and that's where the cursor is so object origin to 3d cursor okay <coughs> okay um, add modifier mirror which you find here um, we need to enable clipping and that what that means is that if you've got vertices close to here and you pull them all across instead of going all the way over it stops 
it snaps to that point okay so the mirror looks like it is yeah it's mirrored correctly um, the vehicle looks quite wide at the moment if you go into wireframe mode you can see where we are so the next part will be bringing those in so Z solid um, one more thing to do um, whilst we're here is to add a sub -sur subdivision surface modifier um, drag the level of viewports up to two and the render settings up to three okay so that is the first stage um, of our model one more thing to do so go into face select mode up here go to the underside what we need to do is so click in the first face and go to the last face press control then left mouse click highlight the lot press X and delete the faces so there we are so that's the um, the start of modeling um, so we've defined the shape um, in the side view in the next episode we'll be defining the shape in the um, the top and the front view okay so what I'm going to do is go back into edit mode um, go into edit mode click on to uh, and go into wireframe now if you want to grab the screen please do so I'll leave it up for a few seconds so there we are in the front view press 1 again screen grab if you wish to um, 7 which is top view once again grab and then that's the rear view okay so that's the start um, remember to save it at the end or save as you go um, so I'm going to call this blue this is uh, for me it's section 2 sculpt body A ok thank you for watching see you in the next episode bye